everyone, welcome to the Riley Snap social media platform. Today I want to talk to you about journaling and the importance of really getting down to why do I do the things that I do? Am I understood? Am I, um, am I good enough? Just kind of diving deep to where those cores could be. So, I have been journaling since I was, I want to say 12, but I didn't start journaling on a weekly basis until about a year ago. <laughs> and so, I have a lot of my journals that I have done and am doing. I have a lot more in that cabinet up there. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Um, most of them are kind of... Like, most of them are all halfway full, and then it's like I picked a new one because I have an obsession. <laughs> so, I guess the first version of journaling that I'm going to mention is the gratitude journal. This I did for a little while. It was kind of whenever I was in a very, um, just a place of discontentment, and it really kind of helped bring me back out like once I just wrote down those three or five things I would pick three or five depending on the day eventually you kind of get in a habit of just jotting it down and sometimes I'll come downstairs from my bedroom and I'll just be holding my journal and I'll have my little pen <laughs> and I'll just sit there and like watch tv while I journal so there's it's not like it's a practice that you have to set a lot of time for. Sometimes it could just be jotting three things down onto a journal. That is journaling. That is a great way to do it. It's just having that gratitude journal to help keep your perspective in line. So the next one I'm going to mention is the stream of consciousness journal. You may have heard this term before, but I feel like me being a very emotional and thought thoughtful person I I have more trouble getting out of my head and into my feet so even just to do these videos is a growing point for me because I get so stuck in my head of am I gonna be competent enough to you know <laughs> not be <laughs> not be ashamed you know can I actually take this on can I commit yeah there you go so the stream of consciousness journal style is more for the people who have a harder time getting into their own minds because some people are so moving 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 busy that sometimes they neglect the feelings or the thoughts so that is what the stream of consciousness journal is and the best way to do that i think is to write it all in present tense and just as you're thinking about things so even if you don't know what to write about just start writing your thoughts on paper no one's gonna read it um it's totally private so if you're thinking about you know that meal that you want to eat you write that down and eventually you'll get into this process of just writing down your thoughts really good it's interesting and sometimes god will speak to me that way too Sometimes I hear him go, pick up your pen and start writing, and I'm like, okay. And and I just write things, and it's like this love letter to myself from Jesus. It's, it's amazing. So I highly re recommend getting into the stream of consciousness journal, <laughs> apparently. And then I have this journal, which is for... I write a lot of truths and scripture in here. And I have a couple of notes on the Enneagram, which if you haven't heard of, I will put a link to some good sources to find more about the Enneagram, but it's, it's basically a personality kind of test, but it is different from everything else you'll see if you just go click on one of those videos. <laughs> it is really interesting. I highly recommend it. It has helped me discover myself a lot better, and yeah, it's great um but yeah I just write down scripture and truths about what God says about me and 
this is a really good organized journal for self-discovery whereas this one's kind of more of stream of consciousness and diary kind of things and diaries there is a healthy way to keep one and then there's an unhealthy way to keep one um i i personally do sometimes just take out my anger in my diaries because I don't want anyone else to hear it, you know, I would just rather keep it in the book. So that's good. I think whenever it gets to the point of just being like, I hate everything, it's whenever you need to start turning your perspective around. But the nice thing about that is, is that you can recognize it and go, oh, this is full of hate. Oh, that's not, <laughs> that's not healthy. You know, it's, it's a good way to kind of recognize what's buried deep in that subconscious and I highly recommend it. It is great. And whenever you're diving more deep into your subconscious, I, sometimes I use this to write down my dreams, literal dreams at night. And this helps with dream recall and in fact sometimes helps you control your dreams. But sometimes I can discover things that are buried deep in my subconscious through my dreaming. Not always though, because your dreams Sometimes they just don't mean anything, but then I can just write it down and go, okay, God, is there anything you're trying to tell me through this dream? Because God sometimes does speak to me through dreams, so that is why I keep this handy, handy dandy journal. So back to the Enneagram, um, I ordered this about the Enneagram 5, that is my number. <laughs> That's what I identify as. And it's really cool, so it'll tell you the core fear of this Enneagram number and some things that you might need to work on. And it's just, I love these kinds of journals that kind of have their own prompts inside of them. So I don't know about you, but that is four types of journaling right there. <laughs> and I have, I can go into more depth on any of these journals if you want, just comment down below what kind you want to see more of and yeah goodbye beautiful persons I will see you next week or maybe on bonus Tuesday I don't know <laughs> all right bye